Well, friends, I just wanted to take a minute here today to talk with you about some of the changes that are coming up in our worship services. You know, we've been having multiple conversations, especially in this last week. Multiple questions have come up to us and asking, when are we going to return to in-person worship? And I wanted to touch base with you about this because this past week, a number of restrictions have uh, um, been loosened that will enable us to do some things that we haven't been able to do before. So let me talk briefly about some changes that are coming. We, are, we have put together a return to in-person worship plan. This has been approved by our Healthy Church team, our uh, worship team, and our church council. And you can find the details on our website if you're interested in that. But let me just highlight a couple of those things uh, for you today. I'd like you to hold on to the date May 23rd. That's two weeks from this weekend. On that day, we are going to return to in-person worship inside the at the sanctuary here. And um, it will be at 11 o'clock again right here in the sanctuary. Now we're going to need to wear masks. We're going to need to pre-register for that. We're going to have some limitations on our singing, but we'll be able to sing. Again, that's 11 o'clock indoors, in person, in the sanctuary in two weeks on May 23rd. We also want to let you know that next week we're going to have contractors in the sanctuary here and they're going to be putting in a new live stream system. One of the things we have learned is that from now on we need to have an online worship service and we're going to be able to do that. Starting June 6th, we will have a live, our 11 o'clock service will be live streamed and will be archived after the service to be made available for you if you would like to take a look at it afterwards. So let's take a minute now and go outside and we're going to talk about the changes that are coming to our outdoor service. Now let me offer a word about our outdoor services. As we mentioned on the 23rd, uh, we'll be having that 11 o'clock service in the sanctuary in person, but we also are going to continue to have our outdoor service here on the quad. Uh, however, the time is going to change. We're going to move it from 11 o'clock to 8.30 in the morning, and we're going to continue that routine into the month of July. In addition, with our outdoor services, some of the restrictions have been loosened. Uh, we're able to do more singing, but we're also able to gather without masks if we've been vaccinated. And what that means is if we've been vaccinated, we can remove our masks once we're in place but we'll have to put our masks back on when we sing and when we go to and from the car. In addition, we are removing the pre-registration requ requirement for outdoor worship. You can sign up when you arrive, and I think that'll make everything a little bit easy for all of us. Uh, there are other uh, things that you may want to pay take a look at, and you can see some of the details in our plan that's online. Uh, but now let's go to the chapel and let's talk more about some of the things that are going to change in the months to come. Well, finally, friends, we have had a number of questions from you and others that have asked the question, when are we going to return to some semblance of normalcy on our Sunday morning routine and worship? And I want to offer you a tentative date, uh, and that's simply September 13th, the second Sunday in September. Our plan is that on that day, we will return to three Sunday services. Uh, they will be the same times as previous, except... Uh, we are going to change our, our cross-point service. We'll move from 9 o'clock to 9.30. The service will be at 9.30 now. Now, 8.30, we'll gather here in the chapel as we have done in the past. And, of course, as we mentioned earlier, 11 o'clock will be in the sanctuary. And, again, that 11 o'clock service will be live streamed. Now, it's important that we hear all this now because one of the things we recognize is that we have been doing this for well over a year. And in a year, we form some habits. Many of us are quite accustomed to uh, being, or being present in worship uh, online or virtually or in our homes. In fact, uh, as we have thought about that day, September 13th, a number of us have spoken of C.S. Lewis and his allusion to heaven. He used to say that when we all get to heaven, uh, we are going to be surprised about who is there and we're going to be surprised about who is not there. 
I have thought about those words as we approach 7th, September 13th, wondering who's going to be here and who's not going to be here. But in all of that, know that we very much want to have us return to worship uh, safely and as soon as possible. But we also want to do that with our standard of excellence. And we're doing all this work to make sure we can do exactly that. Well, let me just simply close this by saying that as always, we've, we're in a pandemic, so we have learned to be very flexible. These dates can change, things can change, and we continue to be in a bit of flux in this unsettled time. But our prayer is that we can all safely return to in-person worship, to worship the God together um, who is not in flux and who does not change, amen? We look forward to seeing you soon, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to touch base with us. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you soon.